welcome back to the channel everyone and in this video we're gonna be going over the top five overpowered guns you guys should definitely be using right now here in season five of call of duty vanguard these class setups are absolutely perfect if you guys are trying to secure your first v2 rocket or at the very least increase your kd ratio so with all being said the like goal in this video is going to be 400 likes and if you guys are enjoying the content on the channel and find this video helpful make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications let me know down in the comment section right now what is your current kd ratio and how many v2 rockets if any you guys have in vanguard these class tips are going to help you out now for setup number one we're taking a look at the nikita avt which is a melt machine here in vanguard not that many people are using this assault rifle and i honestly have no idea why it has zero recoil with this loadout so for the muzzle we are going to go ahead and put on the mx silencer so we can benefit from having sound suppression as well as accuracy this gun's going to be incredible at longer ranges and we're also going to be able to get by the enemy team and build up a quick and easy streak that's going to be crucial when getting v2 rockets now for the underbarrel, we are going to put on the m1941 hand stop so we have that recoil control as well as accuracy making this weapon a point and shoot solution at longer ranges no recoil control required with this weapon it's going to be incredibly easy to use now for the barrel we are going to go ahead and put on the 546 millimeter sniper barrel so we can have benefits of bullet velocity and range accuracy as well as damage everything we need on an assault rifle we're getting with this barrel and that's why the nikita avt is so good every single attachment is going to work on each other making this assault rifle incredibly overpowered and honestly underrated in my opinion now for the magazine we are going to go ahead and put on the 60 round drum believe it or not we are not going to run a damage magazine on the nikita the nikita is going to be benefiting from its incredibly easy to control recoil honestly there's really no recoil with this class setup and we're going to bump up that fire which honestly is going to give us a fast time to kill so that's why the 60 round drums is going to be the best option when running this assault rifle now for the ammo type we are going to go ahead and put on lengthen i like to run lengthen on 99 percent of my weapons here in vanguard so we can go ahead and take enemies out at longer ranges a hell of a lot easier now for the optic i don't like the iron type of this weapon we're gonna rock the slate reflector luckily this is gonna be the first option under the optic category giving us a clean optic picture making this weapon super easy to use at any and all ranges now for the rear grip we are gonna put on the fabric grip we can go ahead and buff this weapon's close range handling up we're gonna get that increased aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed hit fire recoil recovery you guys cannot go on this attachment run it on every single weapon here in vanguard now for the stock we are gonna go ahead and put on the zack padded this is gonna allow us to literally walk around aim down sight ready to win each and every gunfight this attachment is gonna be insane on the nikita avt and any weapon that has a fast fire rate low recoil and a quick time to kill we're gonna be winning all of our gunfights at close to medium range because we're gonna be ready to get in and out of every gunfight that we come across so make sure you guys put on the zack padded the best attachment under the stock category now for efficiency we are gonna put on icy veins this is going to be crucial if you guys are playing an objective style mode or blitz because we're going to be getting a two for one effect here we're going to have faster reload while injured and we're also going to have even more recoil control and accuracy while injured or suppressed if this weapon wasn't easy to use enough definitely go ahead and put this on it's going to be amazing and then finally for the kit we are going to put on fully loaded so we can rock the nikita avt all the way from kill one to kill 25 and secure that v2 rocket incredibly easily definitely a solid assault rifle class setup that i don't see not that many people running here in multiplayer i mean the setup is going to be the combat knife ghost forward intel scavenger sticky bomb as well as the stem shot now for class setup number two we're gonna be saying hello to the ppsh meta the ppsh is one of those smgs that people don't run and i don't know why this gun is a melt machine when you guys are running the right class setup let me go ahead and help you guys out so for the ppsh under the muzzle category believe it or not we're actually not going to run this weapon suppressed we're going to go ahead and take advantage of its fast fire rate and put on the recoil booster so we can bump that fire rate up and get ourselves a faster time to kill now for the under barrel we are going to put on the smle pistol grip so we have that increased sprint to fire speed hit fire accuracy this weapon is going to dominate at close to medium ranges 
let's go ahead and put an attachment on this gun that's going to help us win all of those gunfights now for the barrel this is going to be a no if ands ors or buts about it we have to run the zach 300 millimeter barrel so we have bullet velocity and range accuracy as well as recoil control definitely a great attachment on the ppsh to keep down the recoil and having this fast firing fast time to kill submachine gun incredibly easy to use up to longer ranges and you can outgun assault rifle players if you hit your shots which is not going to be an issue with this attachment now for the magazine now a lot of people like to run the nambu rounds in this weapon i personally do not like to run it on here i do not want to reduce the damage on this gun even though it's not that significant i'm going to go ahead and put on the regular 71 round drums because remember we are running the recoil booster so we're already going to get a bumped up fire rate giving us a fast time to kill let's just go ahead and keep the rounds doing the consistent damage and just bump up the capacity definitely a better option in my opinion now for the ammo type we are going to run lengthen this is going to be a submachine gun we're rocking lengthen on all of our smgs here in vanguard now for the optic honestly i do not like the iron sights on the ppsh some might like them i personally don't i think they're incredibly hard to use and just obstructive at longer ranges so instead we're gonna put on the slate reflector to make this weapon incredibly easy to use and honestly a point and shoot solution up to medium range without having to think about a thing so make sure you guys go ahead and put this on your class setup now for the rear grip we are gonna put on the fabric grip you guys know this is gonna be the best attached to run on all ars and smgs here in vanguard bumping up that close range lethality now for the stock we actually are going to be putting on the empress custom with this class setup we're going to have to have additional recoil control accuracy as well as flinch resistance and recoil recovery a great attachment on the ppsh making this weapon a literal laser beam and incredibly easy to use i don't like to have submachine guns on this game where i have to second guess how am i going to be controlling the recoil at longer ranges i want to just point and shoot and this stock is going to allow us to do exactly that on this submachine gun now proficiency we are going to go ahead and put on fleet this is going to bump up that movement speed we are running quite a bit of attachments on the ppsa that are going to technically slow down its handling let's go ahead and bump it right back up with the fleet proficiency and then finally for the kit we are going to rock fully loaded so we can rock this weapon very easily from kill one all with a kill 25 so we get that v2 rocket overall a solid class setup now if you guys for some reason do not care about getting nukes quick is also going to be a great option with this smg give this a go it is an absolute monster and one of the most underrated smgs that i would consider meta main setup is going to be the combat knife ghost ford intel scavenger sticky bomb as well as the stem shot now for class setup number three we're going to go ahead and take a look at the stg 44 which honestly I feel is a forgotten assault rifle but it still gets down with the right attachments this was seriously meta and still is meta in vanguard especially when it first came out so for the muzzle we are going to go ahead and put on the mx silencer this is going to be kind of self-explanatory it's an assault rifle we're going to be using it at longer ranges and we can get behind the enemy team and build up a quick and easy streak with this attachment selected now for the underbarrel we are going to put on the m1941 hand stop with this assault rifle it's good at longer ranges and we do not want to have to worry about recoil control so definitely go ahead and put this on your class setup if you guys want to have a very easy to use scg 44 class that you can seriously just destroy players wherever they are on the map now for the barrel we are going to go ahead and put on the second vdd barrel so we are highly accurate controllable reduce scope swaying gun bob and damage range a very important attachment on the stg making it a long range monster and able to outgun the automaton as well as the vargo s so this is going to be a mandatory attachment under the barrel category you have to run this on your class setup now for the magazine you have one or two choices here you can either go ahead and put on the 45 round drums or you can run the russian short rounds both are going to be great options if you guys want to have literally a point and shoot solution because let's be honest here no recoil is the best recoil here in vanguard the 45 round jump is going to be the best option but that 30 round magazine is going to bump up that damage and giving us a fast time to kill but there's going to be very slight recoil with this class up so both these are great options use whichever one you guys want to have the vibe with this weapon towards no recoil or slightly 
recoil now for the ammo type obviously we're going to go ahead and put on linton it's an assault rifle linton is going to help us out it does long range engagements you can't go wrong with it for the optic we actually are going to be putting on the sight reflector as well don't like the stg 44's iron sights the reflector is going to be helpful at those longer ranges because this is going to be a precision ar that you can use at any and all ranges incredibly effectively now for the rear grip again we are going to go ahead and put on the fabric grip so we can go ahead and take people out at close ranges you can be mobile and aggressive with the sdg which is why i really do enjoy it so let's go ahead and have an attachment that's going to help that out now for the stock we are going to be putting on the constance tactical whenever we can run an assault rifle that has an attachment under the stock category that allows us to literally walk around aim down sight ready to win each and every gunfight best believe we're going to go ahead and put it on making the sdg amazing and again being able to outgun the automaton and the vargo s at longer ranges now for efficiency for this weapon we are going to be putting on focus focus is going to be perfect on the stg so you guys can have less flinch resistance if you are not running the damage rounds vital is also a great option but you can go ahead and kind of pick and choose what you guys want to have on your class setup if you have on the damage rounds focus is going to be a great option if you guys have on the 45 round drums vital is going to be a great option as well Pick and choose what attacks you guys have here on the deficiency. This setup has a little bit of leeway room. Now for the kit, we are gonna go ahead and put on fully loaded. Definitely put this on. You can rock this weapon very easily. From kill one all the way to kill 25, you get that V2 rocket. Overall, a solid class setup. You guys will definitely enjoy it and secure your first V2 rocket. I mean, the setup is gonna be the combat knife, ghost, Ford intel scavenger, sticky bomb, as well as the stem shot. Now for class set number four. I gotta go ahead and show the mp40 now i know a lot of people love the mp40 but again it's a very easy to use submachine gun that you should be able to secure your first nuke with let's go ahead and break this class setup down so for the muzzle we are gonna put on the m1929 silencer for this smg i like to run this suppressed just because it's gonna be a nuke setup and we're gonna be flanking the enemy team and going ahead and getting crazy in their spawn now for the under barrel, we are going to put on the SMLE pistol grip. So we have that increased sprint to fire speed and fire accuracy. Can't go wrong with this, allowing us to go ahead and destroy players at close range without having to break a sweat. Now for the barrel, just for ease of use, we are going to go ahead and put on the Fruits Krusnik barrel so we can have highly accurate controllable and reduce scope sway and gun bob. This gun is not going to move with this class setup. Seriously, it's not going to move. You're going to have zero recoil and some machine gun that's going to be consistently taking people out in two shots of their damage, three shots consistently. Definitely go ahead and put this on your class setup. Now for the magazine, we're going to be putting on the 8mm Kurtz 32 round damage round. Again, this is going to be a mandatory attachment on the MP40. If you guys are playing regular core, you can go ahead and bump up that damage, giving us a faster time to kill. Now for the ammo type, obviously for a submachine gun, we are going to rock lengthen. Being able to take people out at longer ranges is going to be key with the submachine gun. Remember, it's the MP40. It's super easy to use, and it is going to be packing a punch. Let's go ahead and couple that up with lengthened. Now for the optic, believe it or not, we're not running an optic on this weapon, or at least not an upgraded sight. We're going to be rocking the iron sights just open up a little bit more and kind of reaping the reward of a faster aim down sight speed. I like the MP40's iron sights. We're not going to need the sight reflector. You can run it if you want, but honestly, MP40's iron sights are so clean. Let's just go ahead and have an increased aim down sight speed while we're at it. Now, for the rear grip, obviously, we're going to be rocking fabric grip again. This is going to be a mandatory attachment on all ARs and SMGs here in Vanguard, bumping up that close range handling. For the stock we have on the folding stock, you have to run the folding stock. I don't know why people don't run this on the mp40 this is going to allow you to literally destroy players and outmaneuver a lot of the other smgs and ars at close to medium ranges with the fire speed movement speed can't go wrong with it that initial action recoil is going to be irrelevant because we are running a barrel that's going to go ahead and correct that for the recency we are going to go ahead and put on brace we're going to have initial action recoil we don't want to have recoil with the submachine gun remember no recoil is the best recoil here in vanguard making this weapon incredibly easy to use and then finally for the kit we are going to be putting on fully loaded so we can rock this smg without ease without breaking a sweat from kill one all the kill 25 so we get that v2 rocket overall a solid classic you guys should definitely go ahead and give a try right now man the build is going to be the combat knife ghost ford intel scavenger sticky bomb as well as the stem shot and then finally for class number five we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the m1916 y'all probably forgot this gun was in the game this is dangerously and i mean dangerously underrated you can literally get one shot kills with this weapon 
It's a marksman rifle that acts like an assault rifle, an SMG, a shotgun. I'm telling you guys this right now. This was a fully automatic weapon. You'd see everybody running it. Let's go ahead and break down this class setup. So for the muzzle, we are going to put on the MX silencer. So we can have that sound suppression and accuracy. Again, just like all of our ARs are rocking this because this is going to be a precision long range rifle that we can use and kind of get behind the enemy team and build up some quick and easy streaks because we're going to be going for headshots. Now for the underbarrel, because this is a precision weapon, the M1941 handstop is going to be your best option with that recoil control and accuracy. You cannot go wrong with this. Definitely a go-to under the underbarrel category. Now for the barrel, we are going to have to run. You have to run the ZP custom. This is the only way you can get a one-shot kill no matter where they are on the map with this weapon. We're getting no enemy skulls, recoil, control and accuracy, headshot damage, and fire rate amazing definitely the best barrel to run on this gun again giving us a one shot kill potential for the magazine it don't really matter what you run under here we're going to run the 40 round magazine because why not it's overkill and you could quite literally get a nuke with this weapon without actually loading almost a double nuke for that matter which in my personal opinion is honestly unbelievable when you think about it for the ammo type we are going to rock lengthen marksman rifle long range rifle we're going to go ahead and use it because we're going to be able to hit our targets a lot easier and faster at longer ranges for the optic i like to go ahead and put on this slate reflector this is going to be a pretty much no-brainer option on this weapon it is a precision rifle and we're going to be using it at literally all ranges especially longer ranges this is overall going to make this weapon a lot easier to use so make sure you guys have this equipped on your class setup for the rear grip, again, just like all of our other setups, we are going to put on the fabric grip, bump up that close range handling. Definitely a nasty attachment under the rear grip category. And for the stock, we are going to go ahead and put on the reinforced stock so we can have that aiming stability, recoil control, accuracy, and flinch resistance. This weapon is easier to use at longer ranges and also easier to place a headshot for that one shot kill. Now for efficiency, we are going to go ahead and put on vital. This is actually going to help us out at getting body shots, reducing the amount of bullets we need to get a kill with. So we can literally get one to two shot kills very consistently with the M1916, which is honestly ridiculous if you think about it. And then finally for the kit, we are going to rock fully loaded so we can use this weapon incredibly comfortably from kill one all the way to kill 25 so we get that V2 rocket. Overall, a nasty class that people are not running and honestly, I have no idea why. I mean, the setup is going to be the combat knife, ghost forward and tail scavenger, sticky bomb, as well as the stem shot. These are going to be the top five overpowered guns right now here in season five of Call of Duty Vanguard that people just, for some reason, are not running. Obviously, excluding the MP40. If there's going to be two class setups, I want you guys to go ahead and check out right now. One of them has to be the PPSH. It's currently a meta SMG that, again, people are not running for some reason. And also, I want you guys to go ahead and give the M1916 a try. Dust this weapon off. Y'all probably forgot it existed in the game, but it still packs a punch and gives you a one-shot kill. So if you guys enjoyed the video and find these class setups helpful, and if you guys end up dropping your first V2 rocket, or at least increase your KD ratio, let me know down in the comment section of this video and make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn those post notifications. Been your boy Ears, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.